What's going on guys? PX Cam back in with a brand new video. We have found ourselves somehow in a top split lobby. If we are running around a top list for the FIA race, our first nations race actually of the season. And uh, you can see it's a toughie. We are racing for 357 points if we get first place. And uh, most likely we're gonna be shooting here for at least the top 10 because these are some of the fastest drivers in all of the Americas and uh we aren't so we're gonna see what we can do here as we jump into qualifying uh and as we rev out our engine we get done with our first lap here as so we have about two minutes and 20 seconds remaining uh, in the qualifying and you can see a couple people already finished their laps but we're following greasy sam squatch right ahead of us and we're only get good enough for a ninth exit out of here and immediately jump back out into the track and see if we can get started on our second lap but as we jump out into our uh I guess you would say our out lap to lead us into our final qualifying lap. You can see that we run into a little bit of traffic. It's just the name of the game here. We run into the the slipstream game where everyone is just trying to uh, get behind another car, get into that slipstream, and uh, improve their lap time by abusing the uh, the suck power of the slipstream. But you can see that right before the final corner, we decide to break as much as we can to let all these cars pass and try to get back into line. But I actually misjudge it, and uh, we actually lose the slipstream that we were trying to get as uh, we just break a little too long. And uh, this is the result right here as we did not have anybody to help us out with on our lap. So someone backs out of the lap right before the final corner. Someone else has a penalty, so a lot of stuff already happening here just for this final qualifying lap. Move all the way to the inside, try to see if we can improve our lap. And unfortunately, we really don't improve our lap time at all. And that only gives us uh, a good enough time to get us into 17th place. So a lot of work right ahead of us. And again, this is a top lobby, so we really aren't messing around with some of the, um, you know, uh, slower guys. I mean, there's a lot of really quick drivers in this lobby. We're going to do everything in our power to try to make our way through this pack. And uh, yeah, we'll see where we finish off at here as we uh, wait for the five red lights. Grid start here. So... Might be a little bit of chaos going to turn number one, but since we're in the back, hopefully we can avoid all that as we wait for the fire red lights here. And they are out and away we go. So we get a kind of a decent start there. The car on the left hand side of us gets a really bad start, but the car behind of Ethan, Ethan got to got a rocket of a start, so he was able to get ahead of us uh, here heading to turn number one. Three wide as we head into the first corner. One car already off and it's a yellow again. That just gets an unfortunate touch, and uh, he is, his race is basically over here as we now head our way into uh, turn number three. Going to turn number three, uh, a little bit of contact right ahead of us. His cars are still just being a being here, three wide, um, and uh, not that many laps on this racetrack, so there's going to be a lot of aggressive moves here on this race. Uh, and this is also the shortened layout. So this is this isn't the uh, the long layout of the track. This isn't the full length track. It's actually the short layout. So these laps are only going to be about a minute, a minute, 15 seconds. And so with a short race, a short track leads to a lot of aggressive moves and a lot of pushy pushy here. Uh, even though that these are like one of the best drivers in all of the Americas, but we try to make a move away on the outside of uh, of Wheaties up here. And um, we just try to outbreak him, but just didn't work out here as uh, we fall right back in line and just try to see if anybody else ahead of us gets into any more trouble and uh, we can get free positions here. As you can see that right up ahead, someone had a, a server penalty and it's TX3 Stagger. We're able to get around him on the outside. We get a free position and uh, we try to get around Dino as well as we try to get a double for one move going into turn one. But... Uh, just was a little too optimistic. We couldn't really make the overtake done. We just fall right back in line and try to ride around here and uh, not lose too much sight of the leaders. You can see there's already a, a little bit of a gap starting to happen from, I believe, that is 7th up ahead or 8th, uh, all the way up to the lead pack in the front. So into the hairpin we go and uh, Montro right here just uh, out of nowhere just goes for one of the one of the biggest lunges I've seen so far of the race. And we had to get out of the way to allow him to not crash into us as the car actually spun out heading out of the hairpin. So RIP to that guy, but that's going to be a free position for us as well as we now find ourselves in 15th place. Going into the final corner, 359 gets overtaken by Montreux. So Montreux right here in the McGann, he is on a mission here. So he's taking uh, two prisoners here um, in the span of one lap. 
And uh, now we find ourselves in behind at 359s. We're already on the third lap. So you can already just see how quick that the race is going. Um, like I said, these mi these laps are only about a minute, minute, uh, 15 seconds. So um, the fact that these are going just so quick um, leaves us to basically no time to, to just wait around and just uh, try to get into the groove. We really have to push here from the start of the race. And uh, these tires can, uh, can handle it. They can handle the abuse as uh, we are running around on the medium compound tires. But it's going to be a no stop. We don't really have to worry about uh, tire degradation as it wasn't that... Um, severe as other races and on top of that fuel really wasn't an issue as well so it's just basically just pushing as much as we can throughout the race since we know we don't have to even come in for the pit so uh, we can see what we can do here as we head into the final corner so uh, we tried taking a wider line uh, on the exit or on the entrance so we can get a better run on the exit and it actually did well for us but uh, when I tried making the cutback 359 was defending the inside and I just kind of had nowhere to go except for his rear. So instead of making a cutback and getting alongside of him into turn number one, we accidentally just run into the back of him, push him up, and uh, that basically destroys our attempt to uh, overtake him for this 14th position. So uh, just falling back right here as we got a really bad exit off of turn number one. We're just uh, trying to stay within the slow stream here as uh, it looks like the front pack are now really, really far away. So this is not going to be a race for... Uh, a podium or a win, which honestly was going to be really, really difficult to do that. But it's going to be a race basically for, I believe that is 8th, let's see, 12th, 11th, 10th, 9th, 9th. So it's going to be a race for, oh no, wait, 8th. Either 8th or 9th, I don't know, my math is off today. But um, it's basically going to be a race for a top 10. We could say that for sure. As a 359 just goes spinning out of nowhere. And I, that caught me off guard. I was not expecting him to lose right there. He was running really, really strong, running consistent. And uh, just unfortunately, he just got a couple of tires off on the grass. And that was the result here as uh, these guys up ahead are now starting to get a little bit uh, argy barging, a little antsy here as uh, we start getting overtaken by Grove on the inside. So uh, now kind of what I wanted here because we wanted to catch back up to the pack up ahead. But we're starting to get into our own little scrap back here for 13th place as it uh, looks like there's a little bit of trouble up ahead and uh, that's good for us because the more trouble that there's up ahead the slower that they're going to be and the better of a chance we're going to be able to get to catch up to them so we go overtaken here we drop back to 14th place as up ahead like right there they're just beating and banging right now and uh, someone gets pushed down it's actually shredding so uh, not not the nicest of uh, races going on here as the Canadian gets absolutely murdered from Dino Goes straight into the grass into the hairpin and Dino gets a one second penalty and we get one free position so uh, yeah not a lot of love going around here not a lot of patience that are being shown on this uh, race as just people have been getting pushed out left and right and uh, that is not the first car not the second car not even the fourth car that I've seen get taken out here um, on this race so uh, just uh, has been kind of kind of a uh, not the best um, lobby in my opinion just kind of a little disappointing because uh, a lot of these guys are really really quick we should be showing some um, you know some good racing craft but or good race craft but just it's just been looking like a lot of people have just been pushing their way to the front and um, not being good with their overtakes just uh, forcing their way through some of these corners and just least not a fun experience especially because uh, you know it's a, it's a top split lobby um, you know you expect more from these guys but uh, that's enough of a little rant here as we're starting to make our way through turn number three just get a little bit pushed out by apple pop but we send it onto the inside and uh, we just uh, show him that we're still there um, but still side by side racing here as that pop was able to get around us into the hairpin and uh, we get dropped back into p number 13 so we just kind of been around this this uh, 12 to like 15th position spot throughout the entire race. And we just haven't been able to really break out of it. I mean, we just, uh, we try to make our our runs and just try to get some clean air, but um, eventually someone just catches up to us and just tries to make the overtake. And all that does is just slow us down and, uh, and just uh, slows us down from the pack up ahead. As you can see that now, I believe it was 9th and 8th are just now long gone up ahead. And it's basically had turned into a battle for ninth place position now as we are starting to get uh, a little bit of pressure from Staga right behind in the Megan. So one good thing about the 4C is that it has really good top end speed. But when you get into the slushing, the Megan is just, I don't know, just comes out of nowhere. Just 
uh, springs to life and just gets a really, really good top end speed. And the fact that the Megana already is really, really good on tire wear um, is going to be a lot quicker than us towards the later stages of this race. So we just kind of have to uh, do everything we can to defend these Megans that are right behind us. And uh, hopefully we can um, not lose many more positions here as we come out of the hairpin. And uh, this pack has now turned back into a battle for 8th place here as we caught up to 9th and 8th now. Um, is, uh, going into the middle part of this uh, of this lap so already a little train starting to form here as I believe the top two guys are starting to fight with each other again so all that's doing is slowing themselves down and uh, we uh, get overtaken here by Dino as Dino just sends it on the inside just nudges us out a little bit on the um, exit of the corner and we're just gonna have to really push the spot as we drop down now to 15th place so we were up into 12 for a second but yeah just a uh, the pace of these guys is just so quick and uh, their moves are just really really aggressive to some of these corners you just don't want to be caught off and then accidentally get tapped out and spun out so you just kind of have to give everybody the room but we're already on lap number nine so just three laps left in this race as we head into the final couple corners and uh, Galeski just sends it off into the inside kind of pushes us out wide and uh, we lose that 15th place position so Starting to get a little bit aggravated here because I just felt like everybody, well, majority of the people that kept coming into a, a couple of these hard breaking zones were just pushing us out on some of these corners and it just wasn't that fun to be honest. I was trying to give them as much room as I can. Yeah, there were some times where I was trying to pinch them down and hold on to the inside so we can hold our position, but uh, it's just been a lot of just pushing out of the way as we try to make a move back on the inside of Galetsky. Get a little bit of uh, oversteer on the exit, but we were able to hold it together, get that power slide in. And now we were able to regain back that 15th place position as we are right ahead of Galetti once again. So just trying to focus our sights on the pack up ahead since we still have about two laps left. Uh, we defend the inside into the hairpin and uh, we're able to do that beautifully as we now start to uh, pull away from Galetsky and try to re uh, regain that, that, that gap away from these guys up ahead. So. Uh, into the first corner, two laps to go now as we're on lap number 11 and uh, they're still fighting with each other which has actually um, done them wrong here as Galeski goes a little bit wide and is now in the grass but yeah, it's done them a little bit wrong here so we are able to catch up to them and uh, get back into the slow stream so uh, things can get really interesting here we are going to hit a couple of the good overtaking zones but to hit into this hairpin, it's just uh, no space um, available there so we just kind of have to fall back in line as uh, I'm just keeping an eye, seeing what these guys are going to do here. Maybe Apple Pop gets a little uh, impatient, tries to make a move on Greasy. And if he does, then we just uh, hopefully can be close enough to try to follow him through that move. But as we head into this final corner, it's going to be a really good overtaking zone. Apple Pop keeps on the outside, stays on the racing line. So does Greasy. But it looks like a little bit of contact is made there, but nothing too sinister. Greasy was able to keep it on the track. Uh, almost looks like it's just greasy, kind of lost a little bit there. Apple Pop really had nowhere to go, just except for his rear bumper. But uh, nobody was taken out, so still a good, uh, clean race here for 13th place as we try to use that slow stream, try to abuse it. But these McGann's, man, they're just they're so quick for some reason when they get into the slow stream. But uh, we head into the first corner. Both of them go very, very wide on the exit, and we take full advantage of that as we go straight into the inside and try to make the overtake on uh, Greasy here as we were able to get around Apple Pop, just fall right back in line, cover the inside, park on the apex, we are back into 14th position. So uh, we have one more good attempt to try to make a move on Greasy and that's going to be on that final corner as uh, he was able to defend the hairpin. So uh, we're just trying to build a little gap away from Apple Pop right behind us and there we go. We now have about a half a second gap away from him. So we don't have to worry about him trying to make a last minute lunge here. We can just focus on our move here on Greasy as we're just trying to close the gap here into this final corner. Just seeing if we can do anything here as we break as late as we can. Almost miss our apex. Take a very wide entrance. But on the exit, Greasy's going to be able to hold it off as we stay in the slip stream. And this is going to be a P14 after starting in 17th position. And uh, yeah, just a, a very interesting, aggressive race that we had to run here. And uh, like I said, I'm all for aggressive racing. I'm all for, you know, pushing every single lap. But when it comes to just pushing people out of the way for an overtake, that's where I just kind of have a problem. That's kind of what was going on in this race. It happened to me. It happened to other people. I mean, I'm pretty sure I did it at least once on this race. Um, but 
it's just kind of the nature of the beast when it came down to this race in but uh like i said just kind of don't expect it from people in the top split lobbies I, I did see a couple of worse stuff happening like people getting taken out and people taking other people out i don't know out of um anger or if it was just accidental but still i mean you know if you see someone take out two or three people even if it was accidentally start questioning it. if it was actually you know on accident or if they're just out to get people out <laughs> but Anyways, let me know how you guys did on this race. I, like I said, it was a really fun race. 12 laps around the top list. I think it should have been 18 laps. This is way too short. Not enough time for um, racing. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just uh, on the wrong here. But uh, had a lot of fun. At least we were able to gain three positions up on this top split lobby. And uh, hopefully we can get a little bit faster so we can start competing for even better positions. But uh, leave it in the comments down below what you thought about this race. And since you guys made it to the end of the video, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. as It really helps the channel when you guys do so. And if you guys want to follow me on the Twitters, Instagram, or even on Discord, all those links are in the description down below as well. And again, since you guys made it all the way to the end, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.